So get your, your Bibles and we will read three important verses. Second Timothy chapter 4 verses 6 to 8. Second Timothy chapter 4 is one of those final letters of Paul. I, I believe this is the, the final one. He wrote several letters when he was uh, arrested and put in jail for many years. And uh, this letter to Timothy is called the valedictory message, the goodbye, farewell message of, of Paul. So we will read verses 6 to 8. That will be our text. Later on, I will read from verse 1, but let's just read from verse 6. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time of my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Those who have loved his appearing or those who are eagerly waiting for his appearing. Those are the versions of this verse, verse 8. Hallelujah. The Lord bless this word to your hearts. Please sit down. Hallelujah. So just two, two quick announcements. Number one, kung daw nagapinot na dugan mo sang imong shield, kag sang imong mask, you are permitted by me to pull it a little bit and allow your nose to breathe in air because it's dangerous for one hour nga wala ka sang free flowing air. You, you need that. Even Dr. Fauci uh, says that it's dangerous for you to keep on your face mask na limited ang imo oxygen. Second announcement is because ang tanan nga mga uh, 60 and above cannot join us. So um, some of them have not been in the church for almost five or six months. And because your, your, your young people from age 20 below were also prevented to join the big gathering. So, large portion of our church has been prevented to join in the big gathering. Therefore, gina announce namon sa inyo, gina urge gina namon sa inyo, start a home group in your house. Start something in your house where the young people and the elderly can join. Please do that. Don't deprive them of the chance to be in the meeting uh, where people are gathering in the name of Jesus and the presence of Jesus is there face to face. Ang isa nga ginahimo namon diri subong sa mga staff, nag-open sila sa small group sa online. Mag-zoom ka mo, messenger room. Damo subong ang media nga gindesign nila para sa small group on online. Manami na nga bisan hindi ka mo physically in one place, but you can be in the same room online. Pastor, pwede balain na? Yes! Amo na nga may ginabasa kita diri nga mga epistles. Ang epistles is an attempt of the Christians to communicate even from a distance. Ginakontra sa iba nga nga mga ano na nga church nga online. Ano ako, may epistles kung wala sila nagsinulatay sa distansya. Siguro wala kita epistles sa mga ginbasa. So that's the, the justification. And I can argue about the need to really connect with other Christians. Kaya kung maputol ka, madugay, maitos ang imong alawas, mapatay. Bisan gani ang gabagabagagid nga kalayo, isiparate mo sa dapog, isiparate mo dito, isahanon lang siya, mapatay ina. We need the fire of each other and we need the fire of the Lord. So, uh, agree ka mo dira, siling lang ka mo, amen, magtango-tango ka mo, kahit daw, <laughs> napunggan ninyo nga voice. 
All right. Our topic this afternoon is about loving his appearing. Isa sa mga bagay nga nga suffer o na nagadluya, nagagamay sa aton nga experience, amo ning ma fall in love with the appearing or the second coming or the return of Jesus. After many many years, ya gina balance at church, second coming na, may rapture. Jesus will return. His physical appearance will 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 be here with us. Kag naghulat ang mga tao, churches waited for it, theologians wrote about it, um, people sang about it, and then after a while, wala na. Kag they stopped talking even about the appearing of Jesus. So I want to encourage you uh, through this topic not to stop loving the appearing of Jesus. Talk about it. When you pray, you include that in your prayer. Lord, I miss seeing you face to face. Hallelujah. Amen. Love His appearing. If you love the Lord, you will love His appearing. Praise God. People are afraid to face the Lord. They are hiding something from Him. But if you are really in love with Jesus, you are living for Him, you listen to His Spirit regularly, and you are doing all your best with the power of the Holy Spirit to please Him and to serve Him. Hallelujah. Then you should be saying, Lord, come now, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Book of Revelation. Come now, Lord Jesus. The Spirit and the Bride say, come now, Lord Jesus. A person who is born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, would wish that he would be there alive at the appearing of Jesus. This was the experience of Apostle Paul. So, turn again your, uh, your attention to these verses. And I want to read, I have not done it kainas yung aga, but I will read to you the first five verses of this uh, chapter. But yagan yung balang inasulat niya kay Timothy, this is his farewell address, kumbaga last will and testament, tugun-tugun niya. Gin charge niya, gin, 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 gin confront niya si Timothy. Siya in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and in view of His appearing, so the topic is about the appearing of Jesus. In view of His appearing and His kingdom, I give you this charge. So He was commanding, giving a command to to young pastor named Timothy. He said, preach the word. Be prepared in season and out of season. Correct, rebuke, and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. Na notice ko may iban sa Tondri sa church. Nag-open ka mo sa inyong vlog, video vlog, video vlog. And, and, and you are sharing the gospel. I encourage you to start one. Let's populate the internet with that. With Christians, they may not be like ordained ministers like Pastor Ray or Pastor Tony, but they are Christians who know something about the truth, about the gospel, and starting to talk, give your testimony. In light, in the light of His appearing. So, munang yun na ni Paul kay Timothy. Preach the word. Be ready. Prepared in season or out of season. In other words, ready or not ready. Just go ahead and preach it. Verse 3. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. In other words, limited ang aton nga time. May mga time na nga mag-aabot nga hindi na sila mamati sa ang sakto nga, 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 nga doctrine. Or sound doctrine means a healthy doctrine, health-giving doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myth, but you, he said, keep your head in all situations, endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist, discharge all the duties of your ministry, discharge, fulfill all your ministry that God has given you. And then he said, verse 6, as the reason why he is really emphatic, very emphatic siya, sa sininga charge niya, siya, because I am ready, being already being put out like a drink offering. In other words, Timothy, fulfill your ministry because as far as I'm concerned, I'm living. I will not be here anymore. My time has come. 
And that is why uh, the message from verse 6 to 8 is about how to handle your impending death. For example, you are, a, you are sick of COVID, just, just for an example. But you still want to, to live for, for the Lord. Uh, uh, but the Lord is telling you it's your time. What will you do? How do you handle an inevitable, hindi malikayan, nga schedule para sa imo to, go, to come home? How do you handle that? How do you handle the fact that you are a Christian and nag-intense, nag nag-intense mo experience and you wish that Jesus will come but He is delaying? Okay? He's delaying His coming. So how do you handle delay? How do you handle waiting time? So that is what we will talk about. How do you, how do you live a life that, that, that is still very strong and love more for His appearing? How do you live that kind of life? So let's go to number one. Number one, to love His appearing without seeing it in your lifetime this is the first lesson that Paul is trying to tell Timothy and all other believers, those who love his appearing. You can love his appearing, but during your lifetime, it may be the possibility that ang possibly niya matabo, that you, you love his appearing, but you will die ahead of his appearing. Is that possible? Yes or no? That is possible. This is the message to those who love His appearing. You can love His appearing without seeing it in your lifetime. Let's read again verse 6. Siling ni Paul, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time for my departure is at hand. Time of my departure is at hand. You notice, there is no fear in the statement of Paul. Wala fear. Wala sing shade of panic. Nga ba, mapatay na ko? Kaya gin-announce na sa iya, gin-hambala na siya, the, the, ang dates ang iya nga execution, nga patyo na siya. And during that time, the, from, from 65 AD to 68 AD, was a period of intense persecution against the church you will be considered a criminal just by believing in Jesus. Just by being a Christian. If you say you are a Christian, you are considered a criminal, you'll be arrested and you will be executed. And do you know what happened to Paul? After a few, a few moments, siguro, gindala siya sa lugar ka sa diin, utdan siya ulo. He was beheaded after this. But there is no shade of fear sang ginambal niya in his uh, kay Timothy. He was very calm but his belief about being alive at the coming of Jesus has been ha, ha, is not there anymore. Convinced na siya sa verse 6 nga time ko. This is my departure time. I am like a, an offering, a, a blood offering being poured out. Settled on us on mind. I will not anymore be here. So Timothy, it's now your turn to continue what I am doing. Amuna ang bugat sang iyang statement. That he is settled in his state of mind to have these two things. Number one, to be put out as an offering. Hallelujah. Without the experience of seeing Jesus appearing, I am settled in my mind, siling niya, that I am like an offering. I have fulfilled my purpose on this earth. You know, that statement is very powerful. To pour out your life like an offering, it is a me met me metaphor. Uh, a cup, there is a blood in the cup and you pour it out in the, in the soil, that means you are offering your, your life as a sacrifice to God, even through a violent death. 
Blood sacrifice is always about violent death. Balaan ni Paul ang iya nga, nga oras. That he was an offering and that this is his departure time. Departure time. So let me give you the importance of that statement. Early in his Christian life, sang, sang bataon pa si Paul sa iyang pagkakristuhanon, very strong din ang iyang conviction. Nga in his lifetime, while he is still alive and serving the Lord, that Jesus will, will appear. So I want you to read with me some of his early, early writings. For example, 1 Timothy chapter 4, uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. Open your Bibles there. 1 Thessalonians 4. Let, uh, let me read from verse 15. Okay? Siling ni Paul, According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. I want you to notice the, his line of thinking, his belief. His belief is that he will still be alive when Jesus returns. That is the meaning of that statement. We who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord. <laughs> Part siya. Sila kita nga mga buhi pa. That was his state of mind sa early part sa iyang uh, Christian life. Verse 16. For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Claro kay Paul kung ano ina nga event. Nga, the Lord Himself will come down from heaven. And all the sounds and, and the whistles and the, and, and, and the lights and all, all the all the events there, the voice of the archangel, the command of God, the trumpet call of God. Then verse 17, after that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be forever with the Lord. Pila sa inyo, sang naborn again ka mo, excited ka mo about Jesus, about salvation, about the miracles of Jesus, about the Holy Spirit uh, coming to your life, you are excited about the, the 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 probability, the possibility that Jesus will come on your lifetime. Amo na states status ni Paul sang early life niya. From that time on, he he continued to love the appearing of Jesus. He continued to love the appearing of Jesus, and when he was arrested and put to jail, something happened. His conviction is still there, but his belief has changed. Again, post ko ang ang dugay ko nagin po sa sa Facebook sa unang nga nga nagasiling parte sa the difference between belief and and conviction. If you have read it, ang quotation niya ni nagasiling: "A belief is what you hold; conviction is what holds you." A belief is what you hold. That's what you, you, you really believe. That's your personal, personal thing. Nga nang, kung baga, amun ang imong doctrine, amun ang imong belief system. A conviction is something that holds you. You cannot anymore, you have no control over it. It's a conviction in your life. Nga, amun ang nagakontrola sa imong lifestyle, imong behavior. You understand that? So, sang, bataon pa si Paul sa ginoo, he will still be alive. I will be here. Gina imagine na gray fantastic ang ang iyang imagination about the Lord coming down himself coming down from heaven with the, with all the holy ones of God and all those type of things. But when he was writing from the jail, he was convinced that it may not be the case. It may he may not be alive when Jesus comes back. In fact, uh, Philippians again. Let, let's read this one. He wrote this from the, from the jail. I want you to I want you to to feel and observe how much he wanted to stay alive. Na jail na siya mo. Di palakyo na siya, pero he wanted to stay alive. Philippians 1 verse 21 to 25. 
For to me, siling niya, living means living for Christ and dying is even better. In other translation, for to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Notice na? For to me, to live is Christ. He wrote this when he was in jail. He was already in, in Rome, uh, in, inside the prison house. I saw that place where he was placed in the dungeon. Verse 22, But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. If I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So I really don't know which is better. I am torn between two desires. I long to go and be with Christ, which would be far better for me. But for your sakes, it is better that I continue to live. Knowing this, I am convinced that I will remain alive so I can continue to help all of you grow and experience the joy of your faith. So, there is no more talking about the, his, his uh, conviction that Jesus Christ, uh, that he will still be alive at the coming of Jesus. Nadula na to ya. Ang iya na subong kagamuning sulat niya kay Timothy that my time of departure is at hand. I am living now. I know it is. Nagapati ko, nga kung natutuod ka nga nagasunod gi kay Jesus, active ka sa iya, every day, you are in contact with Jesus, Holy Spirit is with you, you listen to His voice, in your heart, amo nang gina, gina, pamatian ko sa akong nga heart, masiling si Jesus nga, pauli ka na diriya, hindi ka na magpanumdum sa, sa kay Sister Sinaida, hindi ka na magpanumdum sa mga apo muda, hindi ka na magpanumdum sa Destiny City Church. Your time of departure is scheduled amuning adlaw. Sino sa inyo gapati nga tudluan ka ni Jesus kung saan ka mapatay? Gapati ka mo sina? Basahan ta ka mo sa mga verses ha? Para at least dumay dumay ara ka bala nga lauman bala nga ano sugiran ako sa Lord kung saan ako mapatay? <laughs> Alright. Are. For example, ah uh, Psalms 39, 4 to 5. Yan compile ko ni para da, sugiran ta mo bala. Siling diri sang sining salmo. Show me Lord, it is a form of prayer. Show me Lord my life's end and the number of my days. Let me know how fleeting my life is. You have made my days a mere hand breath, very short. The span of my years is as nothing before you. Everyone is but a breath, even those who seem secure. See, Lord, show me my life's end and the number of my days. How many of you can pray that prayer? Show me the number of my days. How long will I live? All right? Here's another one. Job chapter 14, three verses. Verse 1 and 2. Mortals born of woman are of few days and full of trouble. They spring up like flowers and wither away like fleeting shadows they do not endure. Verse 5. A person's days are determined. A person's days are determined. You have decreed the number of his months and have set limits he cannot exceed. You have determined the length of my life up to the number of months, and you have set limits that I cannot exceed. I believe that is how Paul uh, sends it in his own heart. The hour of my departure is at hand. Masiling ka siguro if you are already thinking about your hour of departure, you are thinking of dying, why be excited about the return of the Lord? You don't have to be excited. You, have, you, you don't have to be longing for His appearing. Stop loving His appearing. Mapatay ka naman lang eh. Here's the explanation nga nagambal si Paul nga, those who love His appearing, Him and all the others who love His appearing, Hindi na dapat madula sa aton. Bisan may schedule na nga mapatay kita, hindi dapat na madula. Why? Because when Jesus appears, 
according to what we read in Thessalonians, the dead in Christ, the dead who followed Jesus Christ, will rise first. And those who remain and are still alive, secondarily, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So, ang priority ni Lord Yapon, atong napatay na, nga nagtuo kay Jesus, why would you not love His appearing? Hello? Amo na nga may confidence si Paul, maghambal nga, palakyo na ako, pero I am part of the group who love His appearing. Amen? Amen? Because the dead in Christ will rise first. So, sa mga prison letter niya, gahambal gid siya yung amo na niya ang chance niya nga stay alive. After that, hindi niya na makita ang appearing ni Jesus. Hindi na niya ma-witnessan. Wala na siya chance maka-witness. But, hallelujah, araw man sige hapon sa grupo sa mga tao who love His appearing. Settled sa iyang mind nga siguro mapatay siya, hindi niya makita ina, but he still love his appearing because he is completely connected with that time when Jesus returns. My purpose si Jesus sa iya pagbalik diri. Damo gid mo basahon mo sa scriptures ang mga purpose niya. I'm just trying to limit it to the text. Okay? Let's go to number two. Nga tugon-tugon niya sa mga nagahigugma sa pagbalik ni Jesus. Those who love his appearing. Okay? Number two. His message is, those who love His appearing, to love His appearing without slowing down a bit. If you love the appearing of Jesus, even though you know ng yung time limited na, even though you know ng may COVID ka na, so <laughs> senior citizen ka pa, even if you, you know this, there is no reason to slow down in your ministry and your service to God. So verse 7. Verse 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. So, gamit siya gaya po sa metaphor ng pagpaanggid, pagpahalimbawa. I have fought a good fight. Kung sa Olympic pa, I have chosen the right game. It's a good fight. In other places, the gambal siya nga, I have fought a good fight of faith. Pero diriya siya nga, I have chosen, I have uh, responded to a game that I like. It is a good fight. Hallelujah. How many of you like serving Jesus? It's a fight. Whatever you are doing as a Christian, it is a spiritual fight. That, and it's good. Because you win. And Jesus is on your side. Hallelujah. Amen. And you are pleasing God in that way. He's telling you, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. In other words, I started this Olympic uh, uh, game and I started to run and I am now finishing this run. I have run the race. I have finished the race. You can finish the race young you can finish the race old. As long as you know your game. You can finish it while you are young. <laughs> Amen? Jesus finished His game here at the age of 33. Kita, madali na lang mag-70. You can finish it in the later part of your life as long as you finish it. In other words, bisan si Paul nakabalo siya nga he's dying, pero gin recount niya, gin count niya ang lista sa mga gin balikin niya ang, ang mga natabo sa iyang kabuhi. He he started the game, he fought a good fight, he finished the race and he kept the faith. In other words, even if we are waiting for the appearing of Jesus, we don't have to stay sitting down and like uh, isolated ka sa balay mo, stay at home ka na lang. Kag natin may pandemic man, mayo gani, hindi ko kagwa. Matinamad na lang ako. Hindi na mo ang ara sa mind ni Polia. A, a person, I really believe this, a person who is waiting for the appearing of Jesus, longing for His appearing, will be busy. 
Amen. You will be busy because you want to achieve something for God. We are dealing with the issue of living before His return. Ang kay Polya, he lived an active life. Very active. Before his death, before his return, he lived a very active life. Ang idea natin sa waiting, ano gani? Nang daw, mas, mabiyahe ka bala. So you have a ticket, nag-check-in ka na, and ginahulat ang imo aeroplano. <laughs> so you are in the pre-departure area, and gahulat ka siyang announcement. Passenger of... Uh, uh, PR 203, something like that. Your plane has not yet left Manila Terminal. <laughs> Siguro ulat ka lang. Dugay-dugay, another announcement. Naglupad ng inyong plane, but because of the weather, gin pabalik. <laughs> so, napos po naman. Katatlo. Naglupad ng inyong plane, pero naabiriya. Gani gin pilit gid sang pilot nga ibalik na lang liwat ang eroplano ikat apat nga announcement cancel na imo flight Okay I I have experienced that Hindi na mo ang idea sang Bible sang waiting Nga nagapungko ka lang That is not the idea uh, Sino sa inyo ka kabalo nga ang waiter nga nagawait sa restaurant, hindi na siya katindog lang ang samtang nag-inorder dito, wala, wala lang sa iya. Mabtik na siya magkuha sa order, kapag mati na siya sa uh, mga dapat niya buhaton. A waiter is like that, hindi niya kinagawalat na sa pre-departure area. The same is true with Christians. Ano ganyang hambal sa Isaiah 40? They that wait upon the Lord shall ano? shall renew their strength. Why? Because they shall run. They have to renew their strength because they shall run. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The idea of the Bible about waiting is you keep yourself busy. Nang Ang idea, hindi kayo daw gina, ginapilit ka magtrabaho, kundi ginapilit ka maguntat. Amo na dapat ang idea sa waiting. Ga, gahulat ka, gapuntatun ka. Ang ibang nga Christians, gahulat ka, tindakan ka, itulod to sa trabaho. Ang uh, idea sa Bible niya, gahulat ka, gapuntatun ka, gag, sila ang Lord, gapahuway ka na, puli na di. Natawag na ang arrest. I want you to know that while we love His appearing, and maybe there is a delay in your idea na daw na delay si Jesus, we need to be busy. May pala ang giran si Jesus, Matthew 24, na uh, ang servants niya, tagaan niya, uh, mandatos, ginsugo niya sila, nga, to take care of each other, to give food to the fellow servants in, in a due time. The sons of Matthew 24, Siling diri, suppose, siling si Jesus, iyan istorya, but suppose that servant is wicked and says to himself, my master is staying away, he is delaying for a long time. Nag-delay ako, master, and he started to beat his fellow servants. Ginkuntra niya niya, mga kapdanan. Pagkatapos, he joined himself with the wicked and the drunkard outside. Siling tayo ni Jesus, the master of the servant will come at a time he does not know. Ang idea natin sang waiting for the master to return is the idea of doing what he told us to do. That is the idea. Tadan kita ng Christian, ginambalan kita kung ano buhat natin. Of course, you pray. The, most of, of our prayer is to benefit us. Pero ang ginapaabot ni Jesus, most of the prayer we need to do is to benefit others. Benefit the kingdom of God. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. Ato pa lang na benefit. As I forgive those who, who trespass against me. In other words, ang, ang, ang mga ginhambal niya sa ito, to pray, to give, to be kind, to, be, to forgive, to bring the gospel to others, to shine your light, to be salt of the earth, light of the world. 
a good fight. Chilling ni Paul, I have fought a good fight. And then we are started something. Not to quit. Nagahulat ka, wala kinang lang mag-give up. Dugay ko na napapot si Jesus. Tani, ari na siya. No, don't give up. Finish the race. Siling ni po, I finish the race. Praise God, hallelujah. Ara nang finish line, no? ara nang kita ko na. Ginaan bala niya si Timothy. I, I have finished the race. That's why ang labaw sa talan, ginaan bala niya I have kept the faith. The faith that started in his life, wala na bugto, wala na damage. It has become still pure. He, it, it, it has spread. It has brought results in, in the life of many Christians. So muna, waiting for the Son of Heaven, 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9 to 10. Let's read that. Uh, by the way, I am thinking of using this next year. Kaisa next year, ano gani to egg next year? 2021, sa Pilipinas, ika 500 years of Catholicism sa Philippines. Next year, ga plano ang Catholic uh, Church, ga celebrate nila ko may new evangelization ko na sila diri sa, sa next year. Sige, sige, preparar ka mo na kami, preparar man kami. Amo nga verse, tulukan ninyo. Siling diri ni Paul, they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell us how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. Ang mga Thessalonians, pagkabatid nila sa gospel, gin talikuran nila ang ilang mga Diyos-Diyos, mga ribulto nila, mga imahin, gin pang talikuran nila ini. Yeah, you turn to God from idols. They turn from idols and then they turn to God to serve the living and true God. Markahin nyo ng word nga serve the living and true God. Wala na sila sing ginaserve. Kundi the living and true God. No more service. Wala procession. Wala na sing uh, pahiran mo, pakagislan mo, mga bayos, ang santos-santos mo. No more. No more blue bidita, kag blue procession sa imo nga santos-santos. It is service to the living God. Sila ni Paul sa ila. Amo nang natabo da sa inyo sa Thessalonians. You turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God. And verse 10, and to wait for His Son from heaven, whom He raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. Did you notice the word serving in, in verse 9? And did you notice the word waiting in verse 10? Because that's the idea of the Bible about waiting. You wait for His Son, but you are busy, hallelujah, serving the living God. Amen. Mga Christians, kung mas masako kamo sang early days ang inyong Christian life sang sasubong, you are di- diminishing. You are decreasing. Dapat sa pito nagalapit ang pagbalik ni Jesus, we are, we are fighting a good fight. We are finishing the race. We are keeping the faith. Hindi kita yung mationg niya. We, we become stronger and stronger and stronger. Hallelujah. We wait for His Son who saved us from the coming wrath, the future, destruction. He is saving us from the future, judgment, and destruction. We cannot afford to stand by and, and be lazy. In fact, nabasa ko sa Bible na sa last days, separate ni Jesus ang faithful kag unfaithful. Goat and sheep. Hambala niya ang mga, mga sheep nga well, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. In other words, you have done good. You have been active. You, 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 you fight a good fight. Hallelujah. Well done. Good and faithful servant. Pero ang bala niya ang goats. Sila niya, you wicked, lazy servant. Gimbutang gina ni Jesus yung word nga lazy. So waiting time, while we love His appearing, should be full of activity. No slowing down even if you feel na daw na delay si Jesus. Sila isang Bible that we should be busy doing what the Master commanded us to do so that when He comes back, He will find us so doing. Faithful to your calling. 
original reason for being of the Christians. Amo na kay Paul. Wala gid nag-change ang iya original reason for being a believer of Jesus. Titus 2, 11 to 14. The grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. While we wait, notice that word, while we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own, eager to do what is good. While we wait for His Son, eager to do what is good, not only service and blessing others, but you are purifying yourself, hallelujah, while we wait for His return. Amen. Now, let's go to the, to the last. Number three. Message of Paul to those who love his appearing. That is to love his appearing without doubting his promise. Hindi ka mag-doubt. Kung mag-delay, don't doubt his promises. Verse 8. Let us read that one in verse, verse 8. There is reserved for me, siling niya, the crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day and not only to me but to all those who loved his appearing. Talks about the expectancy of, of a believer. We, what, we, what do we expect? Ang verse 7, what have we accomplished? Ang verse 8 is about what do we expect now? Hallelujah! You are convinced it is settled in your mind. You are living. You are departing. You will be going home. And that you have a list of your success and accomplishment. Hallelujah. So what is the next? The next is that you have to get a guarantee. You have a guarantee that what you expect will come to pass. What are the expectations according to verse 8? Number one, there is a rewarding day. Amen? Amen? That the Lord will reward me on that day. There is a rewarding day. It will be scheduled. There is a scheduled rewarding day. Kung baga, sa Olympic, may ceremony. Every, everyone will receive a reward. Gold, silver, <laughs> bronze, or something like that. Because of what you have accomplished. There is a rewarding day. This is the promise of the Lord. This is our expectation. The return of Jesus for the unbeliever will not be a happy return. But the return of Jesus for the believer will be a happiness return. It will be a return. He is coming and people who believed in Him will be so happy because there is a day of rewarding. Can I bring you again this verse in Revelations? Revelations chapter 22, beginning verse 12. It says, look, I am coming soon. Wow, praise God. Revelation is about the second coming of Jesus, Apocalypse. I am coming soon. My reward is with me, and I will give to each person according to what they have done. I am Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Amen? Ang pagbalik ni Jesus, gine-emphasize sa book of Revelation, I am coming soon. Look, behold, give your attention. Pay attention now, he's, he's saying. I am coming soon. And the rewards, the 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 trophy and the, the medals I am bringing, kung, kung baga, I am bringing my rewards to give to those who have uh, been faithful, fought a good fight, finished the race, keeping the faith. 
Para kay Polya, there is a rewarding day. Amen? Um, ang nagapadiscourage sa mga Christians sa pagpadayan sa paghimo sa maayo bala? Ang nagapadis, isa sa mga nagapadiscourage sa ila, inang daw wala sila na wala sila na premiuhan sa mga ginpanghimo, wala nga manami, wala nga maayo. You do something good to your, for example, children, parents ka. You do something good to your children. Ito yung children mo, nagtuon sila sa gawi, sa kalibutan, na in- ingrato, bala? the ingratitude, and you feel so hurt inside. There's no appreciation, only criticism and attack. You are a boss of your office, you do something good for the benefit of your employees. Discouraging na nga, wala ginya reward ang imo effort ya. Teacher ka. You did all the right things. Siya nang rewarded ka. Sila yung iba niya Christian. Ay, pastor, kay Christian kita, wala na kataga paabot sang reward ya. And that's the worst you can think of. Nga hindi ka na magpaabot sang reward. Hindi kay humble kuya mo. Tungo tulad seminar sa webinar sa sa Zoom, mga pastors na tanan all over the Philippines, mga 3,000 sa to ang mga pastors natun. Nag-lecture ako about ano, ng finances kay ang nagapastress sa ilang, ilang uh, ang ilang financial status, wala sing service, wala offering, wala na sila sing kaunon. Tama na distribute kita di sang bulig sa mga pastor, yung pangkodaka ng mga pastor, samtang gabaton sila sang aton relief. Diri sa Rose City, ang mga kodak lang, ibang gasando na lang. <laughs> Di wala ginyo malay. Dugod, dugod, na binulayan gin man sila gali, siguro. So, muna nagapastress sa ila. So, nag-lecture ako about uh, financial uh, status sa mga pastors, mga churches. Ang mga questions nila sa ako, ang mga ginpang sabat ko sa sunod ng webinar, mga questions nila halimbawa, Pastor, pwede ba lang ang church magnegosyo? Parang uh, ang kinanglanon sa church sa uh, uh, maatipan? So, ang ginsabat ko man na kay ang aton na identity sa gobyerno nga church, non-profit, kita wala kita yung dire na para magnegosyo. Tudluan mo lang membro mo yung magnegosyo, maging successful sila, that's okay. So, na isa ka question dyan, na, na, daw na-iritar kami tanahan yung nag-evaluate. Amo niyo? Pastor, agay bala na nga kung maghatag ka abis ang tights mo, igay butang mo ginang imungalan. Okay? Ibutang mo ginangalan mo. Kaya siyempre, mo nang application nila sa ginambal ni Jesus nga, kung maghatag ang tuo mo nga kamot, kag maghi mo inisang maayo, hindi pag ipahibalo sa wala mo nga kamot. Sa so, pamangkot ko sa inyo, posible bala na nga may ginhibo ang tuo nga hindi kabalo ang wala? Pwede mo bala ma-apply ina nga hindi mo pagpahibaloon ang wala? Sa ginahimo mo, sa ginahimo sa tuo, kaya ang tuo mo gagiman din sa utak. <laughs> Itindihan niya Ang gina-emphasize nila ni Jesus, na kung maghimo ka sang maayo, hindi mo pag ibagtingon ang lingganay, kag magtrumpita, kag ipabuyagyag mo sa bilong ng kalibutan, siling ni Jesus, na baton mo na imo padya. We are still talking about reward. Okay? Now, Okay man na, kasi okay nga hindi lang pag-ibutang. Pwede man na hindi mo pag-ibutang ang imong alandera, pero hindi ka na magpaabot, nga pasalamatan ka. Kaya paano nagkabalo ang mga tao, nga pasalamatan ka, kaya wala ka na anonymous ikaw? Are you following? The son, ano ang safety? Kung maghatag ka, para sabi kayo na may naghatag dire, isa ka envelope, 30,000. Saling ko sa iya, tagaan ka naman sa resibo, gidya. Wala ko nag-uya, ganyan pa, hatag ko ito kayo doon sa babaw. Hatag nila sa akon. Kinanglan kid may accounting. Paano mo masiguro nga ang imo nga kwarta na ginagamit gamit sa eksakto nga paggamit kay wala kay gapa account, kay ang record accounting na? Hello? Klaro na sa inyo? Siling sa, ni Paul sa Bible about finances that we will handle the gifts of the people uh, honestly in the sight of God and in the sight of men. 
sa matas ang tao, honest nga pag-manage. Sa matas ang just honest man nga pag uh, nga pag pag handle, pag manage. How can you be honest in the sight of men kung wala sing record nga ang isa ka tao naghatag? You understand what I'm saying? Ang malain niya, nga gibutang mo ang ngalan mo dito. So, si Pastor Gindalaya, so, ay, perde ka mo ni Brada Tony. Oh, ang uh, yung ginatag dito. dito. Ginwaragwag bala. Nga nakabintaha sa iya. Wala na siya sing mabaton niya. Padya, kaya ginpadyaan ko na siya. Now, balik kita sa itong topic. May ipadya si Jesus. Ginapripara gini ni Jesus. Yeah, you'll never be disappointed. You will never be heartbroken. God is listing everything. Words you say, money you give, help you, you extend it to someone else. Sitting ni Jesus, you have done this to me. You have done this to me. Pasalamat ko sa mga tao. They have, they have brought good things into my life. Whether counsel, whether prayer, whether things that they have given me. I thank God for them, but the greatest rewarder is coming and there is a day that all these things will be fully, fully rewarded. Wala sing may malimpatan. Nagi pag-imo nyo sa mga imol, sa mga kubos, mga kindness gin extend nyo. Hindi gin na malipatan. Labi nagi sa panahon sa pandemic, sila ni Lord, anong inimo mo sa mga kaingod mo? So, the promise of the Lord is, you will be fully rewarded on a rewarding day. Ikaduhang expectation sa listahan natin, verse 8, the righteous judge, the Lord who is the righteous judge, is the one who will come. You know the meaning of a righteous judge? That means he will be fair. He will not be unjust. He will not be, uh, though na may paboritism sa iyang judgment, it will be clear, it will be honest judgment, wala kasing pwede matago, wala kasing excuses dira, wala kasing mga argument pa dira, kay clear ang record. He is righteous. He will do what is right. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He is a righteous God. The Lord Himself will reward who is a righteous judge. He is a righteous judge giving reward to people. His records are clear. It's now being finalized. Praise God. I believe. Ang database ni Lord sobra pa sa Google. Number three, a crown of righteousness will be given. There'll be a crowning. People say this can be a literal crown because in heaven it's okay. Damo damo tangkas ang crown mo. Okay lang na. You deserve it. But Sindra, a crown of righteousness will be given. There are different crowns that will be given to people. All kinds of people. The crown of martyrdom. The crown of righteousness. The crown of life. Gin promise ni Lord. Diba damo nga crowns? And all these promises, expectations nga ginhatag ng Lord sa aton will truly be accomplished. Will you say Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Siling diri. Second Peter chapter three, verse twelve to thirteen. I will read two more verses and then we will close in prayer. Looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved, being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth in which righteousness dwells. The future world will be world of righteousness. All the evils will be dissolved. It will be burnt with fire. There will be new heaven and new earth. The new earth will be gone. The new heaven uh, will come. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 5, 6 to 10. Sering ni Paul sa Corinthians, Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. For the first time, ang Christian 
duha ka kalibutan ang pwede nyo ma pwede nyo ma ano ganina pwede nga aware ka mo sang duha ka klase sang kalibutan here in this body while you are in the body and absent from the body where you are present with the Lord ano nang ginambal ni ni Paul uh, sila nga and I would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord bayaan ko ning lawas niya tuna ko sa, sa Lord ya mo nang preference ko next So we make it our goal to please Him whether we are at home in the body or away from it. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body, whether good or bad. The good will be rewarded. The bad will be punished. Because He is a righteous judge. Amen? Three verses carrying three important valedictory messages. Yes, love His appearing. Amen. Even if you will not be there when it happens. Hallelujah. Yes, you must love His appearing. But don't be lazy. Be busy. Amen. That's the meaning of waiting time. Gawait ka. Nga pa ang tatun ka. Hindi kayo gawait ka. Itulod ka. Patrabawon ka. And then also, if you love His appearing... Continue to trust His promises. His promise that you are expecting will really come to pass. It is sure. It is guaranteed. A reward will be prepared. There is a day for that. And the righteous judge will be coming. And you will be crowned. Wala kita sing iban nga na paabot mga Christians. We fight a good fight. We have chosen the fight. We are not trying to please the world. We are not trying to please our, our community here. Nga daw, para daw, daw sila bala ang aton nga master. Di, ang aton master, si Lord lang yan. Amen? Gakadistract kita kung kaysa kay in, in this life, sa, sometimes may kusog ka pa, ang iyong mga direksyon niya, ginahalad mo sa iban nga endeavor. You know the ambitions in life. You know you can live your Christian life dedicating your, your strength, your talent only to your profession. Pwede niyo maubos ang time kang kusog dito alam sa profession mo. How about time with God? Amen. Let's bow our heads. During this pandemic time, God has given us more time to reflect You know, sit down, listen to the Lord, read His Word, respond to His Word. We are given a chance to be busy in life. We begin to fix our heart and our hope in the sure promises of God. There are things we face today, we settle it in our hearts. Even if Jesus delay His coming, it's okay. As a leader of a church and a leader of a Christian movement called Assemblies of God, I plan ahead. I plan for what, what will take place in the future. But God can stop me at any time. God can cut off the planning that we have done. That is exactly what I expect. Ang importante lang, wala ko gauntat. Kaplano ko kanong buhato natin, agod maalagad natin si Lord. Now, I want you to think about your own personal life. Do you love the appearing of Jesus? Is it settled in your mind? Is it okay with you? That even if you die before He returns, that it's still okay with you? Even if He delays? That while you are waiting for His appearing, that you will keep yourselves busy serving Him and pleasing Him. Butang ini nga ginaplanuhan niya, wala niya kaya ginahulat mo lang ang matabu niya. It's something you need to be taking initiative, hindi passive, kundi active. Nga plano kaya. And then of course, your expectations may ending ang tanang nga kakapoy 
may ending ang tanan nga kasakuon may ending gid naya a rewarding day hallelujah and so we are ever thankful to god father in heaven join the prayers of your people o lord with all your words and your promises when they pray about things lord your word is attached to those prayers o god and their prayers will come to pass hallelujah i pray that every one of us will always love his appearing hallelujah jesus let us all stand let us all stand i am convinced that the first thing the first step to loving his appearing is loving the lord love him first do you love the lord the bible tells us that uh, those who do not love the lord will be cursed he is coming so important knowing that the lord is coming that you love the lord amen you love him you say something good to him you praise him you adore him you admire him you sing songs to him hallelujah you surrender your life to him you your life will become an offering an offering is something that people uh, put in the altar and it is given as a sacrifice and it is accepted by god in other words your life become, becomes a, an offering in an act of worship. So let, raise your hand and, and make your life an, a, a, an offering. I am giving my life as an offering to you, Lord. This is my act of worship. Just like Paul saying that he is being poured out like a blood offering. And his time of departure is at hand. We want everything in our life to be an offering to you spirit soul and body our time our talents our treasure is yours lord hallelujah hallelujah jesus let's sing this song
Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your presence and the blessing of your word. Thank you, God, for directing our steps, especially in these last days, as we wait for the appearing of your Son from heaven, the Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, who rescued us from future destruction and future judgments that will fall upon the earth. Thank you so much, God, that we now know how to react if we really love and long for the appearing of our Lord, that we will keep ourselves busy, that we will entertain or settle, Lord, in our hearts and in our minds, the possibility that we may even go ahead and depart from this earth to be with you, to be in the presence of God, or that we will never, never give up on your promises. Your promises are true. Jesus is coming, the great and righteous judge to give crowns and rewards according to what your people have done. So bless your people now, Lord, starting today. We will continue, Lord, to love His appearing. We will pray for His appearing. We will fall in love with Jesus because Maranatha, Jesus, the Lord, is coming. Hallelujah. Raise your hands. Let me bless you. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn His face towards you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you peace. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen.